Well, this has been a problem at Sylvan Beach for years, but the village is wanting to make something clear. Alcohol is not allowed on the beach. With a nice weekend shaping up, the village is expecting a big crowd at the beach, which suffered through a rough springtime. Our Jeff Kulikowski says most of the beach is back and ready for visitors, but you better leave the booze at home. It wasn't exactly perfect beach weather today. A strong wind made it feel even colder than the below average temperature today. But that didn't stop a small crowd from coming out. It's sunny it's out. I mean, it ain't yeah. I mean, Syracuse, so you get sun like once in a while. You gotta enjoy it. Okay. It's not quite the beach the village wants, but after the pounding it took from a very rough spring that destroyed the sand, they'll take it. Crews have been working almost every day the past few weeks to restore the beach. They also use this machine to comb the sand and collect debris. Today, it pulled up five loads. Normally, it barely gets one. We are able to make it look pretty good every day. Uh, it's not as nice as I, I'd like it to be, but uh, there's plenty of room for people to come out and, and enjoy the beach. But even a, a, a loss or of some of the beach is, is, a, is a huge problem. A big part of offering a good time at the beach is the sand, but also they say making sure they keep alcohol off of it. The village is very serious about its ban on open containers. Many people have the idea that because it's an, it's an outside area that you're allowed to, to drink there. And that's not the case. It's still publicly owned property. Benedict says it's a zero tolerance policy and police were out last weekend handing out tickets and they will be all summer long if they spot people breaking the ban. At Sylvan Beach, Jeff Kulikowski, News Channel 9. Now the fines can run as high as $200 for an open container violation. Last year, police handed out over 100 tickets to people caught with alcohol on Sylvan Beach. Well, a fire